never stop dreaming. You know, it's like, what is it that you want to do? Uh, if you want to achieve something, it's probably not going to be easy, but if you get a, a feeling in your, find your purpose, whatever your purpose is, and, and live your purpose, and make, do whatever, you f do whatever you want with this life. Never give up. Perseverance will al always get you further forward. Um, and to be yourself because that's the qualification you already have and um, if you try and change then you're not being genuine so give the gift you've got. Become a, a fountain of knowledge just you know, absorb what you can put it into practice and, and just be, become the best therapist you can be. Set your targets high that's where you need to be. Um, but I think one of the things I see that students um, who do well learn to do better is to engage with their people skills. If they can work well with people that they don't feel afraid to have eye, eye contact, you know, face-to-face -face communication with people, they shouldn't hide behind their screens, behind their phones and be afraid of people because this is a business about people. And um, the people who can talk, support, empathise are the people who do well in this industry. Try and keep up. Try and keep up with um, trends in the industry, and try and keep in with what consumers want, and providing what people want, and providing something that's a little bit different. Um, that'll definitely get you somewhere. Otherwise, you'll just be the same as everybody else. It's so easy to be like everyone else. It's the easiest thing to do. So, kind of figure out that well, maybe where they're going isn't necessarily where you want to go, and, and strive for more, to learn more, to be more. Feed your mind with positivity. Look at the people who are the best in this business. Ask the questions, what do they do? See what you can learn. Just keep feeding, keep learning, keep growing. Network, network, network. Um, whether that's connection online, connection in person, it's incredibly important to um, have a community of people and the only way you can achieve that is through networking. Um, the second thing I'd say, um, a little phrase that sort of crept in I think recently um, and it's related to consumer expectation and that is don't get it right, get me right. So fluid response uh, within wellness, within the spa industry um, that relates absolutely to personalisation and, um, and responding to the individual. So mentioning about social media, what we do, we have discovered with Wahanda is that it's very confusing. You live in an uh, in environment where there's so many messages out there and there's so many social media. There's nothing worse than going to a spa or a salon, Facebook, if it's not been updated. You must make sure that you update your page. You must make sure that everything is, uh, um, uh, the content is fed on a, on a regular basis. So what we do say at Wahanda is we say, choose your content, what you like the most. Is it pictures, in, in which case you will use Instagram? Is it uh, uh, promotions, is it snappy promotion, in, in which case you're going to use Twitter? Or is it more videos and educations um, and uh, things about the staff or events that you're doing, in which case you will use Facebook. But once you do something for your business, a, an actual channel for your business, do it well and do it really well, so well that eventually you want to move it to another channel. But do choose the first one first and then move from that. Um, you engage your audience through all the uh, um, activity and the brand awareness that you're giving out there.